Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Jared. So a couple weeks ago, I had a little wedge of agar uh, with lion's mane growing on it. And I wanted to get some green spot going so I could grow out some lion's mane. Now I'm gonna be building a five pound block of lion's mane. I'm gonna do that in a filtered bag. So like one of the unicorn bags. Um, and I wanna do 20% spawn to substrate ratio. So I'm gonna need about a pound of grain spawn. So today I just did a little grain to grain, uh, a little grain to grain transfer so that I could have a pound of grain spawn to go with my five pounds of substrate. So just a quick video to show you how I did it and let me know. Well, obviously if, I, if you see something I messed up, something I could do better, Always open, uh, always open to hear suggestions and better ways to do it. So let me know. Thanks. So I started out with this jar of rye grain that I had transferred a wedge of agar onto. The agar had some mycelium growing on it from lion's mane and over about 15 days it fully colonized the jar. Now it might not look like what we're used to seeing for a fully colonized jar. Lion's mane is very wispy and very thin. So you kind of have to take a picture and zoom way in on it to be able to see all the mycelium. But I assure you, it is fully colonized. I gave it a good mix so there wouldn't be any big chunks in there. And then I transferred everything into my still air box. I finally ran out of disposable gloves and I'm not going to buy any more. I'm just going to keep using these reusable gloves. It's kind of a waste to be throwing gloves away every time. So these gloves should work out fine. I spun the rings off and I left the lids in place. This should make it pretty easy for me to uncover and recover when I go to pour in my colonized grain. And I'll be splitting this one colonized jar between the two jars of receiving grain. Now you'll notice that the lids I have have injection ports on them. Uh, these just happen to be the lids I had laying around. So the injection ports are really kind of useless for what I'm doing here. All I'm really doing is colonizing some more green. Now you can see how the colonized grain and the new grain look quite a bit different. The colonized grain is nice and white and the fresh grain is a little bit darker. I gave both jars a pretty nice mix and I'll set them aside back out in the garage and hopefully it colonizes pretty quickly. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. If, uh, if there's anything I can improve on, I'd really like to know. Um, if you've got any suggestions for other videos, hit me up in the comments or just shoot me a message. Yeah, I'm keeping up pretty good on having a video out every three days, so stay tuned and subscribe if you want to get notifications at that bell. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.